What's up? 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 What's up guys, gonna be starting here in just a second. What's up everybody? Sorry, the damn traffic got me trying to make it over here. Thought I can Superman my way. What? What's up? What up, Whitey? How you been, homie? You been good? Been all right? How's your day been? Been all right? Been smooth? Yeah, I'm going to kickstart it here in just a little bit kind of getting my bearings together you know what while this is playing let me grab a drink it'll definitely be a more non-alcoholic for right now because um, i haven't really had much of my system today trying to lose a little lb before my uh doctor visit three weeks from now i want to surprise the shit out of her yeah man i'm <laughs> i'm still i'm still going at it man still still going bro how you been you been all right what uh, uh, you still stay? Do you still stay in Houston, or are you still out in New York? Um, I mean, you don't have to put your business out there if you don't want to. Um, just curious if you're here locally, or if you're somewhere in another state, maybe another country. I'm curious. Now I'm super curious. Or if it's one of those I got to spin the globe, and you're like, ah, oh, probably this continent. <laughs> Again, let me grab a drink really quickly. Got my sparkling water. You know, gotta be bougie like that. This one, um, I'm actually digging it. Um, it's called Richard's Sparkling Rainwater. And what was going to happen was my initial thing was to play um, the phenomenal producer Timberland, uh, a video that he that he made. He did a uh, he did a master class. And let me lower this a little bit more. Oh, I was going to tell you. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Taught English. Now back into taught English and did some DJing over in Vietnam. And actually heading back over there. That's what's up, dude. That's what. Yes, sir. Last call. Oh, yeah. For both of you guys. I got to give you the Bill and Ted guitar, man. Shit. I'm still trying to learn Vietnamese. I'm terrible. I am terrible in Vietnamese. I'm trying to learn my Japanese. I've been slipping on that one. But getting there. Getting there. Getting there. How's everybody's week been? I thought I was going to get here right on time, but the part-time job just didn't quite make that happen today. But it's all good. Okay, so... Oh, I was going to tell you this too, Whitey, on something completely different. Um, you actually got me into playing, uh, and it, it might be completely out of your existence in the, in the mind, um, the uh, Dead Space game. I heard they're trying to flip it into a movie and also, or possibly doing a, uh, and then whatchamacallit, um... What's up, Burnt? <laughs> Let's go. Everybody's ready. I was like, yeah, I didn't have really a chance to do my little 10 minute intermission or get started scene. I'm like, I ah, who gives a shit. Let's just let's get this moving. Um, yeah, shout out to everybody on the chat. 
Um, we got burn CDs. I got my good homie. Oh man, we had some stories way back in the day. Um, yeah, you got me into like learning all my 80s and EDM stuff. Like it still comes in handy, bro. So like, yeah, there is animated Dead Space movies. Are, well, the one that I really like, I know we're going down to a completely different tangent, but it is what it is. Um, I guess I'll do my intro. DJ Gons here in uh, Houston, Texas at uh, JJ Media Studios. People are like, what is that place? Um, it's kind of like our hangout spot, but we do um, shoot music videos, produce music for um, people that if they're trying to make certain type of content, um, I'll kind of handle that side. But if you're in the local area and you want to shoot a music video, holler at us. We'll uh, make it happen for you. Um, shout outs to Burnt. CDs in the place. Got uh, the opportunity to talk to him. Um, nothing but loves and nothing but great vibes from him. And it's great hearing your progression, bro. Like, I'm always, like, I'm always loving that. Um, yeah, dude, I remember that. I remember freaking uh, the Ignite parties. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I had to do a wedding not too long ago where I was going back and playing all these, like, Mastercraft remixes. And I'm like, oh, shit, man, this brings me back. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah, now I still remember. And then uh, I had to do a wedding after party this weekend. And I was actually playing uh, some of the Dead Mouse kind of like remixes that when you would show me that you would play um, in your room and you're showing me kind of mix you're working on. Um, I was like, oh, shit, like that memory. It, dude, it's still in my brain. It's it's wild. It's, it's wild how, how your brain can function like that sometimes. But uh, again, if you're just joining me for the first time, um, it's been great seeing um, new faces and old on here. I basically go over Serato Studio in the sense of, uh, <laughs> yes, Funk man, dude, I'm actually going back and playing a bunch of that shit right now. Uh, Funky House, absolutely. Um, I showcase the Serato Studio software. Um, kind of work on tracks. You guys give me goofy ass challenges. Um, I try to do them as best as I can without having my brain explode. But at the same time, um, because you guys give me challenges, it helps me just still uh, learn things and figure out ways to uh, make something happen. Um, I, I'm going to put it out there in the universe. I'm, I'm sure someone's going to give me a sample of ants like marching and they got like this really long shotgun microphone and recorded these ants marching and you guys want me to uh flip uh the marching of uh a fire ants and no i'm not high no i'm not on any drugs i just have a feeling someone's gonna do that um yeah <laughs> um yeah no no doubt burnt um perfect you got all you got it all squared away like i said they're they're good man Serato team i love them they they know what's up they're busy they're, they're busy i know they're tough so uh, as far as just trying to get at them. Um, again, I'm going to show, let's go here. Let me go to my Serato screen. Let me make sure I got everything laid out how I need to and perfectly spaced out so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, so I know some of you saw my um, post on the recent flip I did, and I was kind of talking about how I was using my old computer to make that happen. Um, it was not a like fake thing. Yeah, I used. Uh, I didn't get a chance to come here and use my brand new Mac, so I was using that one, which was hella challenging. But um, I got it working. I got it working right because um, I just didn't get a chance to come over here and use you know my much better CPU powered computer. Um, but I transferred over. Um, the project from that one to this one. So if you don't know how to do that, let me, uh, you can put a maybe a one in the chat. Um, if you're not sure how to actually send yourself a project file or send it to someone else who uses Studio, in case you're ever trying to do like collabs or um, just trying to send a project over to someone so they can kind of see what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Let me actually add one extra thing here. Man, Whitey, it's actually good seeing you on here bro it's awesome yeah we go we go way back way way back way back in the time okay pro mouse there we go 
so you can at least see what I'm highlighting. So if you're going to share a project, you're going to go up to, let's see, to create. I know you can't see that little section, but um, it's going to say Serato Studio File, Edit, Create, View. You're going to go to File, and you're going to go Save Project with Samples. That's the key to send to someone because it's going to retain all of your effect information arrangements this whole thing like right now i just got this from a uh zip folder that i sent myself here okay so so if anyone has any questions on that you let me know um again if i would highly recommend and i'm glad i'm seeing some people jump on doing the discord um sample flip stuff um Last call. Did, were you able to uh, get get onto the Serato server? Let me know. I know Discord and other tech have not been your friend recently, so I'm hoping that at least that kind of worked out. Okay. So, again, we go to the Serato server here. Um, nope. Ah, killing me. So let me do this. Uh, I'm going to put their Discord thing on. Let's see here. Hopefully the Timberland one works. It should extract it with no issues. Okay, let's go Serato Studio. And let's see here. Why is it not? I'm going to put the di their uh, Discord channel on, as a link on the on the stream so you can try to jump on that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. Forum. Serato Studio discussion. There we go. Discord channel. Okay. And I'm going to copy this. Copy. Okay. I'm going to put this in the chats. Um, oh, let me answer a question here. Um, I'm still, yes, yes, you can. So even though you're not using studio and you're comfortable with FL studio, go for it. There's, it's not going to be like a gang warfare, like, what the fuck? like you're using that, bro. No. Um, but yeah, you can use uh, VSTs um, in Serato studio. Um, I put the Serato link to their Discord. Um, no, biggest the biggest thing is whatever tool, whatever tool works for you, whatever um, kind of medium. So you have like people that are painters that sometimes they'll use they they prefer that their medium be like clay, or they want to use freaking watercolors, or they use. Um, like stencils and stuff. It's whatever your medium works for you. Use that. I would always recommend that. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Someone uses Ableton and you you tend to crank out stuff way better on GarageBand. Whatever you can use to just be creative, do that. That's key. That is key. So I put the Discord there. Hopefully that works. Call, just try to click that link and see if that works. I'm hoping it does. Hopefully that's not a I can't get it to work <laughs> situation. So I'm going to play the sample, and I think I have I think the project kind of played out well uh, when I loaded it in the studio, but we shall see. Um, I'm still loving the way SFT flipped that freaking sample. Um, let me play it real quick here. If you can hear that, let me know. Let me know. Okay.
ridiculous. Fantastic. That sample, like, shout out to Austin Mills um, on that sample choice. I mean, that shit was just, how can you not make something out of that? I would just make a little quick edit and just play that, to be honest with you. Um, so, I know I'm kind of doing a recap of people flipping the stuff. Shout out to Cut Corners, too. Um, I want to I'm, I'm going to shout out Cut Corners because I want him to make a sample pack of him just playing bass lines. Yeah, so, uh, Whitey, this isn't my house. It, yeah, it is a separate studio. Um, if you're ever in town or uh, same thing, Burnt, um, as far as, like, any local guys, or if any of you fly into Houston and you want to just kick it for a couple hours, um, this uh, studio is over in the Midtown section. It's really close to um, the Breakfast Club. I know some people are just like the 80s. The what? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, over in the more like Montrose area, but um, really close to Midtown. Um, again, maybe like five minutes away from the Breakfast Club um, over in Midtown. So, yeah, if you're ever here, bro, I got my DJ set up over here. Um, I got a TV over here with, you know, PS4. I don't got PS5 yet. We're not on that kind of budget yet. Um, and got some drinks in the cooler. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're more than welcome to vibe out, bro. Invitations open. Anybody, you know, any, any of you guys here on the chat. So I'm going to play his real quick. Cause I was just digging it. Just get, get, get in my, get in my zone right now. tell he played that piano or or just found a dope piano sample and, and matched the the key uh, it's lovely <laughs> One thing that I did like, and I'm going to emphasize, is sometimes creating mutes, and I'm not, I guess I feel like I'm going to do a breakdown of his track um, or his flip, is there's going to be like these little kind of mutes. Um, I'll kind of go back to it. Right there. Um, adding that little thing, just that little bit of pause and muting, already gives you the idea of something new is going to happen so like you're you're building i mean we're only five seconds in but it already feels like something else is continually building momentum forward um and usually if you're doing kind of like beat beat battles or kind of like sample challenges that is usually the um, your kind of uh method as far as like how you're going to arrange stuff is you're wanting to progressively move forward um, and mind you, that whole flip was a minute 18, but in structure, it feels like it, it, it's an entire song. Um, and I think where um, usually new producers and it's no knock on you, new producers trying to get into doing like beat battles and things of that sort. Um, they forget that they have to kind of construct. They have to learn how to construct um, ideas and condense them down to like, say, a minute or like two minutes tops. Um, because if not. You're, you're going to take forever to get to your main meat and potatoes. And by that time, you already lost your listeners' um, ears for it. Um, but even like doing little short mutes um, on your drum patterns can help keep it moving forward. Just 
again there he took the drums out and just did the vocals as a way to carry the carry to the next section now he brought that a little arpeggiated little i call it the little sprinkle the sprinkle of sound or the blanket of sound that kind of warms you up when you hear it and then introduce the bass line So yeah, um, again, he already created like all these arrangements and, and like we're only 28 seconds in, which is nuts. So I mean, shout out to SFT. He, I mean, he fucking bodied that, that sample for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Burns like, yeah, uh, that's what we're going to right now. Structure. Yeah, super key, super key. And also like when you're listening to your structure, um, so typically, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll show you guys how I flipped mine. So the way I ended up building the flip that I did was the initial thing that got me into. Oh, I don't want to make sure I don't blast the shit out of this. Um, let me go to it was uh, the scene right here. Oh, it was minus. Sorry. So I was Okay, no, that's, bad. That's, good. that's good. That's good. Okay, so that wasn't the section. Oh, let me take the vocal. That's what I. That's what I started with. I started with that section, and I built everything else around that. And that section is really just So what I did was I just pitched it down negative one reason I kind of went with that because it had like a strong piano um, and it just seemed to drive that as far as like energy so I just kind of stuck with like let me let me use this to build um, the basis around everything um, yeah got a call all good bro now you're good on the on those no no you're fine if you send a wave I'm not tripping on that I'll show you the uh, drums, the drums, how I did them. I kept it pretty, pretty basic. Um, I did do almost, I guess, 50% swing on it. I just notice that that is loud as shit. Yeah, I need to make that a little quieter. It's a little too much. So always a challenge of doing like the boots and hats is definitely giving it swing and making stuff interesting. So if you can tell, it's not always just this. Because if it was that for like two minutes, you'd be like, dude, you're freaking annoying me right now. Just you got to have a little bit of variation because that's usually the challenge on making your boots and hats house is having that repeatedly going and trying to keep your listeners attention. Um, so I will tend to like do maybe these little hi hat changes here and definitely applying swing to this. Um, like you can, you can already hear that's a little different going to And then I added like a little double kick right there. I could have did where I did a velocity change just a little bit. Then I added this like little echo hi-hat just for uh, 
add a little extra spice to it. And then again, I'm always going to stress it. Like if you add a top, you can add a top loop and it just makes shit more interesting. So I added um, this Oliver Retro Drum Loop House Top Loop. Um, I'm just going to solo that so you can hear that. I added a bunch of reverb to it because um, I didn't want to have like any crazy mid frequencies. And I, like, I cranked up the highs quite a bit. Um, ODT, once last call gets it to work, it's going to look like this. Um, I didn't use too much of it, but I definitely use the, um, the high end compressor to kind of boost the, the highs a bit more. Um, cause I just wanted to kind of really hear the, the, the higher end frequencies on that percussion. So what OTT does, it stands for over the top compressor. So for example, if I really want to hear the low end on something, um, I can try to send as much of a hot signal for just the lows. Um, let me see if I can just do this in context. It's kind of like a filter in a sense, but you can actually... A, a filter will only um, adjust the frequency in the sense of what it's taking away. But say I only wanted to hear the lows, but I wanted to really crank the lows in volume... I can increase this compressor to send me more dB of low. Instead of adding a compressor separately, um, which would increase the volume of everything, I'm trying to tell it to push low end frequencies and add dB to that. And that's what this high, mid, and low is. And then also the depth is how much of this compressor I want to apply um, to this sound that I'm using. You'll what I'll tend, uh, tell people to do is put this at 100 percent and start turning these um, knobs and this threshold and you're going to hear a big difference on a sample. I'm going to do it on a sample that last call sent me once I kind of uh, am done showing this uh, project here so you can see what what you can really do with this. I'll get my filter in there. So again, if I do that, do this in context of the drum with the drums. So. so it's like already having an, a bounce to it that we're looking for. So then I added this other little loop. I'm a sucker for like little shaker tambourines. I think I'm going to literally buy me a tambourine so I can start recording my own little top loops because I tend to do that all the time. Like I just love, I love tambourine. I know some people go with cowbell. Nothing wrong with cowbell, but I definitely more into the, uh, into the uh, tambourine. That's, that's usually my, my stilo on that. So, and it's just to add a little extra percussion. To it that's it yeah you can do the kick you can do the kick in mono um typically on here um the the samples are like one shots anyway so it is going to be mono but it doesn't mean you don't have to keep it in stereo if you don't want to um but more times than not you're going to have the kick being dead center anyways um with everything i would typically pan my percussion and keep my kick like dead center um, and keep my snares maybe a little bit more to the left to the right. Um, I was kind of under the gun trying to knock this out in time. So I didn't really do the panning like I did, but um, I ended up using the, the dimension expander, which is like a stereo widener plugin um, like that one. I had the other one called widener, um, but I don't know. It just, the chicken kind of got me laughing, so I just kind of went with using this one. Um, so it almost works like a pan, just kind of spreads the sounds out further, keeps my, my kick dead center. Um, so everything has its kind of place. So let me play this here. And if you're ever confused on anything, if you're, if you're new, let me know. Sometimes I can 
talk my mouth off and forget that some people are like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So if you feel like that, no shame. Let me know. Again, that little was like a crash echo. I did, I did three echoes because I just wanted a super long tail. And then I filtered it because um, typically on this specific crash, it had a lot of like low end on it for some reason. Um, so I just filtered it and I cut a bit of the lows out from it too. So we have that. Um, and then... Yeah, that's how that's how basically how I how I built that scene that helped me build the rest of it. And then what I also did um, was actually use that Lala vocal remover and created three versions of this sample. Um, I used a version. That was the full, like the full track itself um, I, for the intro. Um, let me find that scene. Right here we go, right here. Oh, let me unmute that. Why can you just let me be? So for this one, um, again, it's about the tool and when you want to use it. So I wanted to specifically um, end this at a certain point. So instead of doing the one shot mode that I'm used to using all the time for this one, I went for the I always forget the damn name of this. I always call it, I, I called it hold, hold mode be, or section mode because I have to it only plays a section of however long I create this right here so with this one i wanted to end it at seven so that i can have this super long reverb at the end to create this crazy spacey sound to go into almost like the direct opposite of that type of uh, scene so i use last call's favorite street in the whole world i went down automation street and automated uh, this reverb to crank up all the way to like 82%. Um, so, cause when I start at one, you're going to see this knob moving. See how it's at zero and we're on bar one. So if I play this, you're going to start seeing this progressively move up. Take a look at the mix knob. If I didn't do if I didn't do that, the sample is just going to end and it's not going to gel well with the other sounds that I used to get out of this scene, which for that section, I used these two sounds. Again, by itself, you're like, dude, I don't know why I would use that. This was just a quick little doo -doo -doo -doo, just a uh, separate from the chill version into going into something else. That was the way I was looking at it. And that was just something I could stack to that. So by themselves, they help me link to the next scene over here, which is this one. I'm gonna adjust the highs on it because I can tell it was kind of high as shit. And then did a my little boom. They call it like sub drop. Yeah, sub down effect. Usually you'll hear that sound a lot in like cinematic trailers. Um, like a lot of Hans Zimmer shit, um, you'll hear that sound. Usually when uh, there's a scene where they're like almost close to jumping off a cliff or they actually jump off a cliff or there's something like big and grand, they're like, holy shit, what is that? Whoa. Or they do like slow-mo stuff. Um, you'll tend to hear that type of sound to kind of indicate either slow-mo, intensity, something of that nature. You'll hear that. So 
Shout out to Hans Zimmer, the the king of that shit. Um, let's go to scene two. Any questions, feel free to let me know. And then I go into this wild shit here. <laughs> So yeah, so ho- yeah again. Hopefully that Hot Zimmer thing made sense. So this was a third copy of the sample, which I actually you I turned it. Um, I was able to get it as like all acapella. Um, let me solo this here. I'm gonna lower this gain a little bit because I went a little gain hungry on it. Okay. <laughs> So right now in context, it's, I still had the filter like about here, but I decided to just use the acapella just to create um, kind of tension, um, not to just lay over the entire track. It's just key components of the vocal so that I can manipulate it how I want to in context of just as a tool. So I was like, you know what? Let me just use. So in my head, I'm like, uh, yeah, she says, that's all I want to be. So I'm like, that's all I want. That's all I want to be like the way that her vocal when it says B just the style of it. I was like, man, you can do so much with that. Like it has its own tone right now, since the filter is super low, like you can't hear it very well. Um, but that's why I started adding a bunch of echo to it from there. Um, <laughs> all good. Yo, shout out to my homie Whitey, man. Thank you so much, bro. It was great, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he's been he's been there since like damn near day one with shit. So, um, yeah, have fun, homie. Great seeing you on the stream, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. So we're going to go here. Peace out, homie. Peace out, fam. Um, so yeah, I went into that. And that little that little droning sound is actually the original sample. And what I did was it's just that little piece. And then I time stretched it negative 19. We play it by itself and then just apply a filter. Yep, and that's it. So I just did, uh, if, if you ever get stuck on trying to make like a house build, you just get something that has a really sustained tone, filter it really low and then bring it up and then add a kick at the end like a four on the floor kick and then you're good um as far as like trying to build some type of like house uh tension before you're kind of drop so to speak so all in context Kind of built tension from there. The little yeah yeah is again last calls. <laughs> I hate ragging on you about automation, but I think I'm doing it because I just want to be your like, you know, like your basketball coach is like, I know you can get that that mid range jumper. I know you can get it. Like once you get that mid range jumper, like that's the the skill set that you'll be like like fire. Like it was just gonna add so many skill points for you. 
Um, I basically just mute again. I do this thing where I'll mute everything near the end so I can just get this vox. I just want to hear those. <laughs> Again, I muted everything just so I can do a scratch sound right here. That's it. I, I tend to, I tend to do that. I, I, I'll add like uh, maybe stupid sound. I think the next one I might do like a duck squeaking at the end. Um, there's a really dope um, tech house or bass house producer, and I was I, I tend to refer to him quite a bit because he's just freaking amazing. Um, Joyride. Um, he'll tend to use a lot of car sounds because he's just a car person. So he'll use like blips from the uh, car alarm, uh, screeching of tires as like a transition sound because it just sounds like something that's transitioning into something else. Um, yeah, it could be anything. You can have, I've had tracks where like I found a sample of someone dropping keys like on a table and then I stretched it, put a bunch of reverb and echo on it and just gave it a whole different character from there. Um, so if you ever want to make interesting shit, I mean, it has a record feature. You can like record yourself eating cereal and see if you can uh, make something out of that. So I guess I'm waiting for a uh, cereal beats next week from everybody. Um, let's see here. So let me I'm going to start a new project. Um, let me see here. New project. Don't save. And let me try to see if I can play this Timberland thing, too. Uh, let's see if it'll play it. So, okay, cool. So before I go into this, um, cause I don't want to be the person that does not do what's on the headline of their, uh, stream. Cause if not, that's like on some catfish fucking shit. I don't want to do that to anybody. Cause I don't want to hear anybody on the stream be like, well, you didn't play the Timberland video. You're, you, you know, liar. Um, so I'm actually going to play this. Um, I would highly advise if you're like stuck on your beat making to just kind of follow this idea. Um, let me get this together. Hopefully last call is on here because I don't know what happened, but I, I can play it on, on my end. Um, it might be the file type last call. Why I didn't play for you. I don't know if you have quick time on your, uh, deal here so what we gonna do all right so let me move this over again i guess we'll keep this a secret because i'm just i'm playing the entire master class but you know just know that you're getting a treat right now of me just playing this for you guys so hopefully uh you guys are cool with that you know uh so let's move this so over there we go okay what we gonna do now the beat that i'm whoops damn it sorry trying to get the volume correct okay. so what we're going to do now the beat that i made earlier with my mouth we're going to expand on that oh i should have played the other part <laughs> they go to made more sense okay hold on hold on now i'm fucking <laughs> damn it i had this ready to, i had this in my head and then i was like oh damn it i'm messing up right now okay let me okay i think i might have had it disorganized on here okay so it's not that it's not that you're like oh snap bro you lying to us fam you lying to us okay it is it is there okay perfect so it is the introduction i was like okay something something didn't look right okay here we go here we go i'll probably do two things here so you guys can really get this together all right here we go my apologies let me go right to it 
Uh, let's see here. There we go. That's the real end of it. Da, 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 da. So he has his homies there. They help him out. So again, it's not just, it doesn't have to be a one man band for forever. It's always good to get ideas from other people. So let me uh, shut the hell up and uh, play this. Three. I have my team Timbo here. Chris, my engineer, been with me for years. Fetty and Angel, Team Timbo, part of Team Timbo is a big expansion, but this is the main hub. What are you seeing here is I'm opening up to y'all and showing you how I do it at home. Yes, sir. This is what I do with my crew. All my, you know, Angel and Fetty, we all collectively be together. We all work together through our laptops and how we our workflow is just like an ongoing party. We just transfer sounds to one another and just cut the speakers on and jam out. So we're going to make music. We're going to talk about the music. And I'm going to talk about some of my songs that I already created that were hits and talk about how I created them at the time and what was my thought process. Let me know if you guys have we're any gonna, issues gonna not hearing vocals. it well. We're going to show you how melody is structured from a writer, from me working with a writer, me working with an artist. You're going to see all of that in this class. But if you want to know about the technical parts about the EQing and producing, that's more about going online tutorials Thank about you. plugins and other things. But you're going to learn about feeling. You're going to learn about getting the groove and enjoying one another. Fellowship. New producers, young producers, other. If you're up and coming, show me your work. Show me what you got. Show me what it is. Awesome. Thank you. Show me what you want to do. He said something super, super vital for a lot of people. Um, I'm going to bring it about back. About plugins and about the technical parts about the EQing and producing. That's more about going online tutorials about plugins. Yes. Learn that shit after you start creating. After. That's what he's really hinting at. Is and I stress on that too because I ran into this this trap and it was my own doing. Is I felt like I had to learn all the tech shit because then it was gonna make creating the song better, which in the end it does. But if you don't have anything to work with, you can EQ the shit out of a snare all you want for three hours. If you have no song at all and no feeling from it, you're you're doing yourself a dis, uh, an injustice from that. So he's really stressing is like that creative brain. So always put on a couple hats. Sometimes I'll put my creative hat and just work on shit. I'm not worrying about EQ. I'm not worrying about like volume levels per se. I'm just trying to catch a vibe and go on off of that. Because sometimes our time is very constricted where you got to be creative like in an hour because you got to help your moms out. You got to help your cousin out. Um, your girl's asking you like, hey, you know, tonight's the night you have to make dinner for us. And you're like, oh, shit, I got an hour before I got to make chicken carbonara um, or some other shit. Um, so it's tough. Like you're trying to be creative on a dime because sometimes we don't have that luxury of time. So I, I feel like that's kind of what I get from th that. And other things, but you're going to learn about feeling. You're going to learn about getting the groove and enjoying one another. Fellowship new producers young producers other if you're up and coming show me your work show me what you got show me what it is show me what you want to do i start using my mouth as an instrument because when i try to tell people what i want or what i was looking for or what i wanted to hear Pay attention. i always had a problem articulating but my mouth was the easiest way to articulate things for me when it comes to music. If I can do the rhythm with my mouth first, then I can duplicate it on a drum machine. But the first part has to be in my head and my mouth. I have to come out with the sounds because it's in my head and it just comes out. Take Are You That Somebody, I use my mouth on that because I wanted to do a roll and I knew I know how to do this clicking sound, so I put that in that and I just fill up the space with my mouth. Cry Me A River was started with my mouth and then the song was Crazy. created around that. Crazy. I started with doing just the melody, just the, the melody of the song with my mouth and then I layered it and then we added instruments on top. So a lot of times 
I can start off with just my mouth to get the basic melody and then I build around that. So I would like to show you instead of talking about it, how I start from scratch. Yeah, making absolutely. Making a beat bro. with my mouth. Take the last two bars, loop. Pay attention. There you go. All right. Now what I just did I doubled my snap and Chris is going to pan them like a, a B shape. In your headphones, you can hear the, the snaps both left and right. Again, pan B shape. Again, if anyone's confused about what, why he's doing this or um, you're not exa exactly understanding what's going on, like let me know in the chat. Um, I, I think this is something that if you're new, you probably had no idea on it. Um, but again, he's just, he's just expressing like what he's hearing in his head. Um, I know that was an, uh, an issue that one of our guys here in the chat was having, and he started to kind of feel a little bit better. I was telling him to actually record his melodies that he would like sing out to himself on his actual phone so that he can go back, um, take that file, put it in Serato, and then like get his keyboard and play those exact notes to match it. Um, he's just belting out creativity right now is what he's doing. <laughs> Or like the percussion elements. What he what he means by that All right, is, on this is if I can pause that. So that's this right here. When he means V shape, one like this, almost like forty five degree, and then on another one, or say for example, we had the same sample like here and here. You know, let me see if I make a copy of that. Uh, and you know it would be like having one like this 
and another one like this. Or you can see it like this. You had the same sample. One was panned this way and the other one panned the other way to the right from there. The widener plugin would kind of similarly do something like that. But that's what he means when he's saying like pan it V-shaped. It's like 45, 45 degree. Just so it's not dead center because you're wanting those spaced out. So that kick is dead center. So you have a lot more. Um, everything isn't fighting for space as much. Right. Give me the uh, reverb and auto tune. More yeah. reverb. Yep. Appreciate those two melody sounds. Some people in the chat are like, holy shit, if they haven't seen this. Hey, give me the reverb on this one. Now, we don't have the beauty yet of having our own engineer kind of set this up. Um, so it's going to probably take you a little extra steps to kind of get to that type of like looping capability. But I'm hoping that you're starting to understand like how you can build a foundation of just that's why you, when you notice me working on, on stuff, I'm humming things out. I'm like going to get it. Like I'm already trying to fit the beat that's going on in here onto the program. So I'm hoping when you guys saw me do that in other streams in the past and then seeing it happen here uh, with Timbo doing it, like you're starting to see like a connection of like why some people would go this route. I think you pretty much summed it up on there. My little vocals and just play. I just do the little melody. 
to give me a drive or a groove. So if you notice, the very beginning of this. The producer. Uh, at the time and what was my thought process for our laptops and how we worked there from me you're hearing the actual beat the, uh, of what artists. he did you're gonna with other instruments here in the beginning like that's just kind of the thing where you're like oh shit like you hear the actual song that he made from his beatboxing here as like the music bed now the other videos start to kind of break down like what they're doing to make that happen all of that in this class if you want to know about the technical parts so yeah um again about I didn't want to catfish nobody and say I wasn't going to show you the Timbo shit that he does because I'm not about that. I'm trying to be 100% transparent and give you what I'm telling you. So um, I'm glad that those that were watching it, that um, you were able to get something from that. Because I think seeing that, I think, will definitely motivate a lot of you to start trying to implement that in what you do from there. So shout out to Timbo, one of the fucking goats. Um, shout out to him. So from that, let me. I'm gonna hear you guys go. And I'm, I'm sure some of you were doing that <laughs> in the in the background there. Yeah, absolutely, burnt, absolutely. So okay, so this is the sample that Mr. Last Call gave me for um the major vibes. I have no idea what it is. Let's just hear it. And I'm let me hear it at its true uh 73 BPM D minor. Let's go to 73. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Oops. Hope if I just played it from here. I'll flip that too. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I'll get to that one. That is wild. Okay. Last call says, no, don't flip that one. Flip the other one. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> no, don't start that one yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me cry thief. Okay. So let's go to this one. Yes, sir. Admiral call, sir. There we go. Put that in there. <laughs> it's all good just, just, it's messing with you man okay so this one's 88 so let's try to crank this out here 88 here <laughs> I'm not I'm not I really like the string section over here. Deselect all these. I'm gonna okay. So right now, usually what I'll do is. I'll just find all the inspirational sounds that I like and start really giving those chops just in case if I want to do any crazy chops, they're already ready to go from there. So that's there. Two. Okay, so we got that there, have that there.
bit shorter on the time stretch. Size right now. Yeah, fix that. Here we do that real quick. Uh, that was dun, 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 dun. okay. Okay, record that. Boop, boop, boop. Shit, wrong one. I meant to go the other way. Second bar, I'll go with the third note, which would be that there. Cool, I have something to work with there already. Uh, I want to have kind of feeling I want some kind of ambient shit in the background I'm like I'm already kind of sensing at atmosphere that's why again labeling your stuff is like super helpful that's why I, like okay atmosphere I'm gonna go to that shelf let me start finding what I think might work in here that might work on top of that let's try that Again, organize your shit as much as possible. Makes it so much easier for you to, to get ideas like that. Like, again, we're, I went from listening to it, like, two minutes to, like, imagining certain chops in my head a couple minutes into action now. So we have something there. Again, I just wanted a, a little thing. I'm not going into super sound design shit just yet. I'm just trying to build an idea. That's all I'm trying to do. Almost kind of doing the beatboxing method. I'm just trying to just add stuff. And then I'm already kind of hearing other things over that. Uh, let me just grab a loop here. Drum. Again, I'm a sucker for tambourine. I don't like that it sings solo, but I'm starting to kind of... Kind of like trying to sing aloud a bass line that I'm trying to do. Um, boom, boom.
It could also be the melody on top of that. Boom, 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 boom. And let me do the uh, make sure I save shit before shit happens. Um, <laughs> shout out to Austin Mills on the stream yesterday. He ran into that moment. He's like, oh, shit. I don't know if I saved that. Um, so, yeah, let me do that right now. Uh, let's do last call. I'm going to call it don't post because <laughs> I'll know what that means. Don't post beat. It's going to be like, why are you doing that to me, Doc? Oh shit, I forgot to go. Maybe my key let me go back to my keyboard cam, hopefully. Catch my keyboard there. Yeah. It's not zoomed in. Damn it, should have did it, but it didn't do it. Oh, technology sometimes, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Again, hopefully everyone's doing all right. Again, if you have questions, feel free to let me know. No question is stupid. Um, I haven't heard a, a stupid question yet um, at all in any of my streams. <laughs> I think it's got to be a pretty out there question, I guess, that for it to be. I would just call it a... Uh, a tongue-in-cheek question, not really a stupid question. Okay, there we go. So I have everything in key. I'm just trying to boom, 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 boom. I might take it off playing key. Just for an don't have it in playing key because if I have playing key on it becomes a D sharp but for this specific kind of progression even though I don't have it on a technical playing key when I hear it this sounds in key to the sample so don't let oh it's not it doesn't say it's in key so it's not in key no your ears are your number one um, seal of approval then visually if it sounds like it's on, go with that first. So that's there. Okay, so. And I'm just trying to build a chord from that. And kind of do some sound design stuff. Reverb, kind of do the V shape pan he was talking about. Kind of bring that into context here. So we have that, and then bat bass. higher octave just to make sure I got the notes right 
because it's easier for me to decipher if those notes are correct. There we go. I'm just trying to like different rhythms of that bass line, but with the same notes. So we kind of have something going on here. I'm going to move this up so I can hear, I can match um, the drums with the secondary drums that I'm going to add to it. So just if I wanted, I'm trying to just beef up these sounds. This dark red is the kick. This is the snare. This is the hi-hat. It's like that's in blue. So I'm just going to basically copy this exact sequence by just painting my sequences here. Kick, snare. Um, I think that was like, let me see, that was an open hat, which would be that there. And I can tell it's, it has some swing to it on there. like a jumbled mess but it's okay i'm gonna get this all situated here I'm gonna add a Goombia shaker to it. Might sound stupid, but I don't know. I just felt like trying it. It's a little off. Yeah. That idea didn't work, but it's okay. Again, just tried the idea out. You know what? I'll just add the shaker to the drum kit itself. Put that on here. Put it on every eight. Oh, shit. I forgot to take that one off on there. Again, any questions, feel free to let me know. Hopefully, the last call. I haven't listened to how you flipped it. I don't know if this is completely different. I, yes, I believe they are drum broker. Some are from Illmind. I'm trying to remember. That one is from Stone's Throw. Let me see. Uh, relocate. I don't want to relocate. I'm trying to remember if I do Command F. If it shows me just like in Serato. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Shakers and Crash. Get info. It's actually from the J Dilla drum kit uh, on the Stone's Throw kit, Shaker and Crashes. From there. Hopefully that solved that for you. And again, these were just the stock drums. I haven't changed anything yet. I'm just trying to just, again, build the idea. <laughs> I think the bass line is too busy. 
some stuff that's what I want to do I'm gonna do a drum compressor just to pump the signal up a bit more across everything the parallel oh that's why that sounded weird Thanks, Bert. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing that meme where you're like going through 75 snares. Do you get the one you're looking for? I'll go with that one. Why not? So now I kind of want to add my own little kind of filler kick drums in here. So this was kind of like from the last Serato kitchen stream with Wise. Um, just kind of telling some people to like not hug the grid so much or it just sounds like. You kind of meant like adding little ghost notes, adding swing to this. So like I'm going to change this velocity here, this one here. So even with this shaker, what I could do if I wanted just to automate the shaker, this right here, I'm going to go to the bar mode and just, I'm just randomly creating these velocity changes with the, for, with the shaker. So yeah, that's kind of moving up and down from there. Yeah, it does. It does. Big sign. starting to get into some nitty-gritty shit okay so that's c let me switch my cam over to this one here like this it's another beautiful mug there <laughs> uh let's see here that is right now i'm actually not using much of my other keyboard but my computer keyboard to trigger some of these things i got a little lazy here but again they tell you the notation here so that's really nice Change that to. I'll go to here too. 
Um, no, they're not in beta form. There was just a new beta that they added, which I think was adding the mix view. Um, but no, it, it's it's I think now like you're it's set where it's like not in beta as far as 16s. That hit is like a little too much for my taste. There we go. This view right here. Oh, you haven't seen that. Oh, bet. So now like it breaks down the, the actual volumes of each one where you can do it as a knob. Now what would be really dope. And I'm hoping that they do this. I think I mentioned it before. If I can like color code each one here. And I know everyone's been waiting for them to let you MIDI map. Because what I would end up doing is, um, yeah, no, I'll get silence. No, no, no doubt, bro. Um, having, like, my knobs on my keyboard, like, adjust the volumes here, too. Like, I'm just kind of waiting for that. I think they're getting there, though. <laughs> make this four bars I'll do the percussion hit on the third one probably put it right here like this Yes, absolutely. I know sounds goes. I like how they add things, but it's still keeping the program simplified. Uh, simplified. Yeah, that dude. That's the key. That's always the challenge because people want them to add a bunch of shit, and sometimes I could be guilty of it. But they still have to make sure that it makes sense. Because yeah, you could just throw a bunch of shit in there. That's why, like on DJ software, that's why Tractor kind of threw me off because it's like they threw the whole kitchen sink at you when you first look at it, and I just wasn't a fan of it. Now, once I, it was broken down to me, I was like, dude, you can do a lot of stuff. It was just when I straight up look at it, I'm like, dude, it's like way too busy. Um, and I don't want to go in looking confused and then figuring out what to do. I kind of want to go in comfortable. Cool. Let's get after it type of situation. And then what I'm going to speed this up. I'm curious of how it sounds at 96. That's way too fast. Um, Driz Boy asks, will they ever make this a plug-in like Serato Sample or leave it standalone? I think they're going to keep this uh, standalone because um, it would be, I guess it would be kind of tough. I, I, I kind of see what you mean because um, I know Machine kind of works like that where you could use uh, Machine um, just it by itself or you can use it inside of something. Um, to sequence and stuff like that. Um, I kind of prefer like this, to be honest, and I can just add my plugins into here. Um, I'm not sure. I guess, yeah, I guess they could implement it kind of like a machine kind of thing where you can put it into another DAW. Um, it would just be a little confusing, like having all your library stuff within it here alongside your, like, say, Ableton or Logic one. That's what kind of threw me off when I would try to put machine inside of Ableton. I wasn't. I wasn't a fan of that workflow. Um, yeah, but I did like having Serato sample where I can put it into any program and I can just chop like that because it was just the interface was so much easier to work with. So I'm going to do this little panning of this one. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, pan this one all the way to the left. or about 45. Move this to the right. <laughs> then just add a reverb to it here as well that's there that's there make that smaller like there do a reverb here too like that Change the key. Okay, 
so that's one sequence. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'll make a copy of this, and then I'm going to start doing, I'm going to take that chop out. Uh, I kind of start fresh again for a new scene. Take the pianos out from there. So leave the drums in there, because I can always um, adjust these drums when I need to. I'm going to go to the rest of these chops. See how it sounds just with that, which I know is going to probably sound good, but I want to know how I want to try to freak it a little bit more. Put that there. breaking how I wanted to. Oh. Let's see here. Adjust this here. I was like, is there a motorcycle outside? <laughs> Looks going kind of crazy on there. Let me take this one off on here. Oh, okay. One way to I could make this interesting is to do a reverse right here to go back. I want to do a reverse, just go to where you want the reverse to happen and then hit reverse. And I don't want it to hit. Uh, let me see. I want it to go right there. There we go. want to do with that I'm like already getting some ideas but I want the breaker to hit how I really want it to turn okay so I have the breaker effect on I just wanted to go I mean on tempo mode okay let's see here uh, let's see here. Why is that breaker being funky like that? I don't like that. Okay, that's weird. Oh, let me see. That's bad. Fine. Yes. Okay, let's see what the what the freak is going on with that. Okay, let me take that down. I want the break to happen there. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, I have to turn this back off so the sample can still play. And I want that breaker to happen a little bit longer. A little bit longer than, oh, I know why. Because the tempo here, too. Yes. To show emphasis on that reverse, I'm going to mute this because I'm again, I'm I guess I go old school doing mutes here in these little sections. Go back to this mode. I wanted to just mute right here so that you can hear the reverse effect happening a little bit better in my mind. Um, of course, again, that's subjective to people's ears, but that's what I hear. <laughs> Are going to take all these off. I'm going to actually move where you hear the drums happening right there. And this loop. I don't want to hear that loop happen there either. So I'm going to mute that as well. 
there to there. Go there to there. Okay, so put that there. So again, already built the idea. Now I'm just trying to just add all the little extra sprinkles that I want on this. Oh, that's why. Okay. I hear a little bit of that snare. I don't want to hear. I'm here right there. So I definitely, I'm gonna create a different, okay, so we have this here. Baseline in there. Appreciate it, bro. So that first bass it seems a little too long for my taste. So I'm just gonna move it back a little bit right there. I'm gonna side chain it to the kick. Tell it I want that kick, yes. Where? So I'm gonna do a scene where it that whole breaker thing doesn't happen. So I know a question people have is like, hey, if I had automation on that one scene and I create a copy, does it save all this all the automation? Yes, it does. Way I know is because anything that gets outlined or shaded in purple, that tells you that an automation has happened. So if I want to clear it, I have to find out what what did I automate. Hit the robot. Click on here. So it's telling me I yeah, I know those strings are crazy. Like good good uh sample choice call. Mixer, mute. That is what's been automated. So I want to reset that. So now I don't have any automation anymore from there. Um, also on the drum, I want to take the mute off. I'm going to reset that there as well. So there shouldn't be any muting or anything like that. I could be wrong, but I don't want the little breaker effect to happen, which happened on the sample, which is here. Oh, okay, breaker. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was there. I don't want that on. Reset that. There we go. And I want that off. This time I don't want the reverse to happen. I would kind of want this to be like the second part of that eight bar thing. Um we go here okay that's there i don't want the reverse happening Dun -dun -dun. so what i can do i can just call that main verse and then second or Ber main, uh, or I can call it change up, change up verse. Uh oh, something wrong went wrong on my chat. That's not good. Okay, let me reset this chat real quick. My bad. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Uh, let's go. My bad. Docs, docs, chat. There we go. Sorry about that. I know my chat went really weird just now on my end. Apologies. So we have 
right there. So I could make that something there. Right. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the hell happened? I just saw like a bunch of like red uh red errors on my chat. I'm like, oh shit, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay, so we have this and we have this here. Um intro. I kind of might just do on some pre rock shit. It's just like something a little different before it goes in here. So say you want to just change something in the entire scene. Again, you can automate the scene itself. I know Last Call is loving all of this automation shit that I do all the time. So I'm going to do low pass filter into here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the thing I always enjoy doing is like the anticipation of something at the end. I'm going to take this off, take this off. I'm going to mute this whole thing. I know Last Call is loving all of this shit right now. <laughs> I don't mean to pick fun of them. It's just we, we've had, we always have our extensive talks and... Anytime I bring up automation, he's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's okay. It's going to be your friend, bro. I'm telling you, let it be your friend. Join the dark side. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Okay. Turn, oh, let me turn off the this last note here. And then this note here. And then this one here. Again, now since I already have, like, an idea, now I can, I'm just playing around right now right this is all the fun part for me <laughs> so what i want to do is make this snare I actually want to add a shit ton of reverb to it just for this little moment here uh which would be this one i just don't want it to hit like that so only thing i don't like oh you know what i do i should add it to To the clap yeah that's what i want i'll do it to the clap <laughs> this is the one <laughs> absolutely yeah that was right on point bro <laughs> nailed, it. nailed it uh this is the way this is the way last call <laughs> oh that was fucking hilarious <laughs> I always notice with the amphitheater reverb, it has a lot of low end that gets on there. That's what I want. Okay, so I'll take that clap off and leave it like, okay, take that hat off. There. Yes. If I didn't, if I didn't do that reverb to go into the next section, it was not going to sound right. Like it just it won't fit the context. There's like it's not glued together. How like, let's go, like let me go back to this, back to that section. It's not bad. Like you created like silence from there, but I would rather I would much rather have something steady right there. So let me just set this to automate there, like this and increase more but i have to tell the main verse that i still want the tell of that reverb to happen so that's why i'm putting it on the first bar of the main verse section like that so now if i do it it's gonna sound like this boom into it yep. 
So much better. That sounded like glued together like that. So now when we do it all in context now. another little trick I like to do um, is putting like a little vocal sample right in the front because I, I don't know I just I'm a sucker for that that's just I guess my stilo I just like doing that um, and Cook and Soul just has the one of the dopest boxes on here he just has like, yeah like yeah the little uh like that's just perfect for me shit as long as it's not <laughs> super gritted out like that. What up, Cali? What's up? Uh, 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 yeah. Yes. Competition. Uh huh. Burr. This is zone six. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let me take it off sync. Uh huh. Or half of that. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Other way. No comment. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. That sounds so filtered. Uh -huh. Don't know why. Uh -huh. No, I kind of like that. Let me see. Competition is none. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell him. Uh. Uh. What's up, Dooley? Run the shit. Uh. <laughs> that kind of worked out. What up, Dooley? Oh, so the Cook and Soul one on his site, actually. Um, no, I think Drum Broker actually had his, but I, I went, I think I went directly to his site on here, Cook and Soul. Uh, it's like called Bap Kit. Um, no, uh, Low Bap Life right here. That's those there. So, I, yeah, I went there for that. Um, let me see. Let me double check that one. You can see there I went there, or it was a uh, drum, yeah, drum broker too. They have it there also, like a bunch of his stuff on there. Let me just open that up too. Uh, do, 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 do. Just so you guys can see it. There we go. Yeah, you can go there too. He's got his bunch of stuff on there too. It was the uh, the volume two. No, no, volume one is where I had some of those vocals on there too. So yeah, that's where you can go for that. Absolutely. So let's see. Oh, I know why it's doing that because Why is everything filtered right now? Why, 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 why? Oh, that's why. Because I had it starting there. And I have a filter over there. That's why. Now, if I'm messing with it over here, you're not going to hear a filter happening. Exactly. That's what I figured. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Uh-huh. 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 That's what, that's what I wanted to do is uh-huh. 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 I don't want it to do that. Okay, let's see how that sounds in context. Nope, I need it to be a little bit longer than that. Right here. Again, this is all the little nitty gritty stuff. But again, we already constructed the idea. Now I'm just kind of building off of that from there. I want to hear that a bit more, so I need to mute this beginning a little bit here. Hopefully you guys are kind of following along, kind of what I'm doing. It could be confusing at times. 
Right now, I'm muting these items here because I want to hear that vocal a bit more. Because if not, everything, again, is fighting for space, and we don't want that. We want everything to be cohesively together, not fighting with each other. Because if not, that's when things are start to sound like a garbled, garbled mess. So that's there like that. That's there like that. Again, this was a sample I did not hear till last call told me to open it. So this wasn't pre-scripted that you're kind of seeing exactly what's going on in my brain. I'm trying my best to explain exactly what my brain is thinking. So if I wanted to build like this crazy, uh, like eight and another eight to make 16 or like a 24 bar verse, if I wanted to go that route. I can do this um probably this might be for stress more than likely more than likely it'll be like that so i got a main verse main verse two i'll keep this here you know what i'm gonna make an exact copy of this but i'm gonna take the baseline off of this one or i might add like one extra piano for this section so i don't get confused i'm gonna call this main verse two I'm going to call this main verse three because you don't want to confuse yourself. Make these look like Lego blocks. And I named that the incorrect number. Make this three. And then the change up of the verses at the very end. That's kind of how I want it. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that's there. Put two here. And then that's three. A little change up at the end. And we'll see how that goes. So main verse two, I kind of want to see how I can build with the piano. Uh, you know what? Instead of the piano, I'm going to try another, like a little, they have a one string instrument. Strings, the book, the pizzy, pizzy. Pizzicato. Yeah. Boom. I know it sounds like dark and mysterious as shit. I don't like that attack so much. Too many strings. That's why I'm trying to go bells on there. Let me go with the Hala on this. I need a little bit crazier reverb on that. Okay.
on the super subtle. I know it's like crazy right now. Gonna be a, a really low right now. I'm just flipping a sample that last call wanted me to do. I haven't listened to yours yet, call, so I'm curious. Super subtle sound in the background. Killing me, call. I'm flipping this one right now. <laughs> built something what was that 20 minutes i guess you could say we we created i created something here um yeah let's see how that worked out there we go adjustment here with like a little break and then make a hook with this same main verse but like with scratches on there so yeah there we go created some sequences created a little little thing right there and there you go like robocop weird commercial in the movie said i'd buy that for a dollar <laughs> okay so i think uh david got called up last call and was like hey man tell him to flip more rick ashley stuff or astley or whatever um so what i'm expecting y'all you guys to do is to make a uh rick ashley mixtape for me of all the jams <laughs> uh let's see here um uh, and yes i am j i am just kidding about all of that um i know you sent it to me a while back um where did i put it i i should have been more prepared on that um on the replay uh david i went into i actually played timberland's uh master class on beatboxing i highly advise that you watch that replay of that because i think for it would be very i think it would definitely open your eyes on some things with that i think it worked out really good i think uh some people that didn't see it before um it definitely you got to see a last call right i just want to make sure because you had issues trying to open it but okay let's hear that oh yeah date uh he actually made like a an edit um of the Rick Astley stuff. He actually did a good job on that, bro. Um, he kept it. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Which one? Which one? Uh, you sent me like four of them. Call. Every one of us. Cry for help. Lights out. Keep singing. Which one are you thinking? Which one are you thinking, sir? Or you know what? I'll just. 
I guess I can just guess. Uh, you said Cry for Help, right? Is that the one you said? Keep singing? Okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, let's see where this rabbit hole goes. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, Lord, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what was going on. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the video? It's uh, Timberland's Masterclass. Again, after after this, after I'm done with the stream, you can replay this. Um, I think I played around the 15, 20 minute mark during the stream, give or take. Um, if not, just scrub through the video. You're going to see a screen that I put of Timberland on there. When I was a boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> when I was a boy, I saw my daddy crying at the steering wheel and oh. It made me feel so scared. Then there was joy. Okay. Then there was joy. Spirit. Safe from that I could save some sight. Throw my life. Keep singing. Whoa. Keep singing. Clap to the beat. I'm throwing my life. I know. I know I haven't sucked it. It has it at 80 BPM. Um, so it's like a two a three BPM isn't gonna be much of a change on it. Unless it's like not even eighty BPM. The only thing with this, it has a lot of shit going on. And I'm not always a fan of like not a lot of stuff going on in it as far as his voice. I could go cheat code and do the la la and just get instrumental of it and then go back and use his acapella. house it up real quick <laughs> I could do that too I can already see that happening I have to change the tempo of that one note tone okay 
Okay, maybe I just go back. Bum, bum, bum. Let me see how that sounds in sequence. Dun, 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 dun. No shit, I don't like that. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 there we go that has to be on there i'm going super nerdy mode right now in my brain with what i want to do um again the the other ones it, it's not striking me right now is the mood striking you now mr krabs <laughs> no not on that but this end part yes So if I double that, dun, dun. I gotta change the tempo. tone I don't like. I'm going to try to move this a little further here so I don't hear that little there we go. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of that tone. Yes, sir, you did. You caught that, right? Close. I'm getting close to what I'm looking for. Let me go to 
keyboard because you're probably like, what the fuck is he hitting? <laughs> what the devil is he doing there? I'm going dun 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 On some weird shit. On some weird shit. King. Appreciate that, bro. How you doing, man? You doing all right? I'm over here humming away like a pirate ship track that I'm fucking around with right now. <laughs> you know, I mean, this did come from a Rick Astley song. Go figure on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably go this route. Yeah, right, you're hearing that bass too. <laughs> so what it be stupid <laughs> I can't help it. anytime I, I get just drums like that I always want to do the freaking that damn drum beat every time if you understood It does it does have like the AT aliens like snare I'm just trying to just chop the drum so it doesn't sound like uh yeah give me one second here You're asking you're asking me for too much stuff at one time hold on hold on hold on hold on I'll get there I'll get to it Let me start that one. All right, that's there too. So again, say you had some chops that you liked, but you didn't want the rest of these. You star these by hitting the favorite. So then when you select all, all the other ones disappear. In case you did not know that. something poly mode okay baby rage what's up do you make any funk music or listen to any yes i do 
Um, oh, well, you spelled it something different. So I think that's something completely different. I think, I, let me see. All right, let me see what it is. Let me get an hour of funk. Am I ready to get insane, insanely mind blown right now by doing that? Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, that's what I that's what I figured. That's what I figured. Okay. It, I would say it's subjective. I would say it's subjective. Um, I tend to it's definitely faster with the feel on that. Um, probably if I got changed, challenged to it, I can I can try to come up with it as far as learning the recipe on it. Um, let me know an artist name. I will check that out that you're messing with. I know I'm just kind of just jumping through some stuff right now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Hold on. And I'm going to go. I don't want to be crazily distracted right now. Okay. So I take it. It's. Is it called Evolving Hellboy? David? Okay, hold on. On the Discord, I actually have a an area where. Let me do that. So if you want to just like add a song and because, you know, I'm always curious. I mean, sometimes there might be something that might not be exactly my taste or there might be, but there might be an element or something that I like. Um, I definitely wouldn't try to be completely, completely close minded on stuff. So let me I think I might have to change my link right now. OK, so on my discord page. If you want to put that music section, go to my Let's Talk Music and actually send me a link right there, too. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate that, bro. Again, it's the last calls thing. If it's not your thing, it's all good. It's all good. We all have ours. Uh, we're all subjective to stuff. But what I would do is if there's something that catches your ear or not, or not at all, um, at least just take a listen to it. You never know what you might discover from it as far as like a certain technique or something um let's see here so i'm gonna put the the my discord link on here oh shit i meant to put it there there we go bay do me a favor um and i totally went upside down on that i don't know why that happened like that that was weird and then that went weird to like that too let's go back to the I don't know why I just flipped everything around. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you crazy, bro. Okay. So, on this Discord, uh, Last Call's favorite thing in the world, um, tech-wise, to fuck with. Um, okay. So, I have a section called Let's Talk Music. Give me a link to the specific one that you're talking about. I talking about bamboo is dead or whatever. It's all good. Just put it in the uh, Discord and I'm going to check it out from there. Again, I'm I'm open to whatever, you know, even if it's not my cup of tea on some things. Um, yeah, you're not a fan of genre. It is what it is. I'll feel you on that. But again, I wouldn't uh, what I wouldn't do, what I suggest you wouldn't do and other and other people don't put horse blinders on and totally uh not check it out at all from it um i'm not super into um what do they call it uh happy hardcore not super fan of that but there was a group called i don't think they were like happy hardcore group per se um it's called atari teenage riot um the way they actually flipped like the amen break was pretty cool so i kind of like that from it Bet. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Let me open up David's thing because I don't want to get myself confused here. Okay. All right. Let's see what happened here.
All right. So for the beginning on that, uh, let me see. Oh. what I would do on that possibly, um, maybe what synth was that that you used, uh, David, on that? Now, I will say, like, everything had a much better arrangement from, like, some other ones. Like, everything kept progressing further. Um, I would have just, I don't know, the intro, I would maybe do a little bit more sound design on it or go into your song a little bit faster um, from there. Um, I'm curious, like, what inspired you from hearing your the uh, take on me to get into that? Was it, like, the, the synth on it, David? Help. Okay, gotcha. So what you could do, I would try to maybe do, I, I, again, I'm a sucker for a reverb and echo, is maybe try to do some type of maybe automation on it just to give it a little bit more character um, for that. Um, let's see. Go to Hellboy Synth. Again, you guys have, have been great questions. Um, a fight about funk and 80s music. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, let's see here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay. So you can manipulate this quite a few ways because sometimes it could be very brash and harsh on your ears if you're not careful. Uh... Right now, I'm just kind of messing with the wub modulated, the attack on it, also the octave. Yeah, you just have to be careful on that synth. It's very powerful. So just make sure like that, because that intro kind of got me a little bit. I, I, I might have brought it down a little bit or added some type of um, maybe effect to it to go into the rest of it, because it just seemed like a long drone kind of synth. Uh, note on there um, but again um, you you said that you were kind of doing like the humming melodies and, and stuff like that were you doing that before you started working on it because definitely definitely progression wise it didn't sound busy like as far as like too much stuff going on it actually had more cohesion to it so um Good job on that, bro. Like, keep it up, man. Like, straight up. Okay. Uh, let me see what else we got going on here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me do uh, this UK garage thing real quick. Uh, you know, let me save this. Was it keep it singing? Okay. This is keep singing, Ashley. Rick, Rick Roll. I guess we're having a question of funk, real funk, techno funk. Uh, I was like trying to make a techno song, but in the process, all Skrillex were trying to make it. Make, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I would say, even if, like, on that, maybe add those notes on a lower octave too. Um, or do double and maybe spread it out a bit more. Um, gotcha. Okay. Again, it's just my interpretation of it. Give me a second call on that. Let me uh, do. I'm actually going to show you guys this one video. And if you can do it alongside me, as far as doing this style of, I think I sent this to you before a uh, call on making UK garage style drums on here. I know I'm kind of going all over the place. Uh, let's see here. Let me find if it's this one. Let me see if it's indeed. I think it's this one here. 
Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let's have some percussion as well. So let me know if you can hear All this that. here. Fuck. So I'm gonna try to do this like in real time. Most of my packs are around 130, 128, 130, that kind of vibe. And start with hats. Yes. I don't know if you already tried doing this or not. Yeah, give me one second, right? So I'm gonna put this video in the chat. Um, I kind of want you guys to try to mimic what he does on those drums. He makes these like very, he'll put the drums like 83 BPM and then increase the swing, put it to 130 and it has like a crazy shuffle. If you follow along, you like, you can mimic exactly what that is. Uh, so let's go here real quick. Let me get a, let me check this out here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay, so let's find this here. Do you have a face cam? Um, I'm looking at the cam, if that's what you're referring to on that. Uh, let's see. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, you're good. No, no worries. So let's try... Soji A way it is. Let's check this out real quick. like a 80s R&B joint. I was going to make a joke, baby. I go, you know what's real funk? Parliament Funkadelic. Ta -da. That, that was my dad joke of the day. Um... <laughs> I could actually try to flip that and boom bap it up a bit if I wanted to. Um, Eddie King says, um, I have a question. People say all the time on YouTube or any other website that they have free loops, but is it actually free? Good question. Um, so there can, there can be particular loops that are free. Um, sometimes what they'll do is give you one as like a teaser and then ask you to possibly buy other stuff from there if you're liking what um, that is. Uh, other times, um, it'll actually be free. Sometimes it'll be a paywall in the sense of they'll give you like a kick, snare, and hi-hat, like just three sounds, but they're like, hey, if you want the whole thing, it's going to be $10. So... Um, to answer your hopefully I answered your question. Um, so let's see here. Cooking me up is better, is better than what it is. Gotcha. Again, interpretation on there. I haven't heard any of these ever before, so I'm just going off vibe on it. <laughs> Almost reminds me of like DJ Screw with trap drums. What it reminds me of. Definitely has a lot of pads as far as with this one. Going into pad sounds. I can try to make that real quick. Trap drums with using arcade. That could work too. Um, I hope that kind of answers your question, Eddie. Um, some people will give you, I don't know, Smokey. I don't know. Um, so you have three things. One is they give you a loop and they mean it. They're not bullshitting you. Um, the other one is they'll give you a teaser of a loop to then buy the whole thing. Or they'll have it to where 
they'll just play the loop on the stream or on the video and could catfish you and be like, no, there's no drum loop. I just wanted to uh, have you type it in the algorithm and get my views up. Those are probably like the three things on there. Um, I would definitely just be curious if there's like a paywall of anything, then it pretty much lets you know it's it's not free for that. You know, if you're really digging something though, and it's like 10, 20 bucks, I'd pay it. Fuck it. You know, not everything they say, there's no real free lunch for the most part. So if it does sound dope, you know, show them some love. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah, it does have that. It does have that, that vibe to it burnt. Um, you doing wave files doesn't really work on doing large files like that. They do have like a paid service. You, if you want to put like bigger files like that, they try to avoid doing it, but you can do it <laughs> to this point. Um, if you, I think it's like maybe five bucks a month to, to really do, um, larger files like that. Let me find like a really weird pad or let's see. Let's see if I can find something. I'm sure I'll find something on here. Something, something. All right, let's do that. Um, got that there. I don't know why he keeps making that little note right there. I don't like that. Uh, do, 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 do. Now, if you want to get drum loops and, and pay for stuff like that, I would definitely recommend using Splice to get that. I mean, that's a a good resource um, for like drum sounds and just it's almost like a producer supermarket, basically. But you do pay. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, it's it's a paid thing, but um, you can definitely get really great sounds. Download like all the Serato packs if you haven't done that. They do have really good stuff on there as well. And that and they're usually updating it pretty damn frequently. So let me half time that. <laughs> Dude, you're on it today, Burnt. <laughs> okay, put that on five or get one here. Okay, that's there. Select all. Do one here. And then do one here real quick. Again, I'm just kind of goofing off. That's what I'm that's what I'm doing right now. Just kind of going off what I heard in my to to that reference and then let's see what I can make out of it just very quickly in 5 minutes on that. Creativity, this is the way. Yeah, arcades are dope too. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Do this. I'm a sucker for vintage verb, man. It's just. I like arcade. I know you say in small doses. Um, what do you mean by that in detail? I'm actually curious of what you mean by that. should make this eight slow this really the fuck down oh you know what Hold on. put that on the two shit put that on the five on there uh let's see here uh I don't use it for the main sample. I've done it though. I've done it. I've used it for main samples. I've used it for percussion. Again, it's whatever tool you wanted to execute is what's vital. I mean, I've built a whole song using arcade by itself. Just doing that. Now let me go back to four so I don't confuse myself on here. Crazy attack on that. I think that for the first time, I need you to use more than than that three effects. What do you mean, uh, Dave? Do you mean three effects as far as like effects here, or like over here? Change 
increase the attack a bit more. I mean, increase the speed. All right. attack on that. I know I'm going really crazy there. Why is that so quiet? Like a flanger side chain limiter, but also yeah. So to your to your question that you just said, David, why don't you try adding reverb? Try it. Try adding echo. Add the extreme of it. Now, I always stress this. If you don't know an effect, pick it and do the extreme version of it, and then start dialing it down on there, and then see what you like from there. I know that said from there like a million times, but it, it would definitely help if you try it out again, because you'll never know unless you just apply it and then see it. If it sounds like complete, I wanted to, but I didn't have. Now, when you mean you don't have enough space, what do you mean by that? Please be specific. Do you mean not having space here on this side or here on this side? Again, please be a, a little bit more specific on that, David, so I can try to answer that a bit better for you. crazy to me i'm trying to slow that and it's not doing that i didn't have space in the deck area for my synth lead i can only add the effects in the deck but i couldn't add it in the left oh for synths um let me see here okay oh because you don't have anything over here i got you so what you would do is instead of adding flanger to it just instead of like like basically none, take them all off, then just add reverb to stuff. Because what you could also do is say you had this one that had different reverb stuff from here. Who says you can't just make a copy of this here, duplicate it, and then on this one, you add your other shit, flanger, whatever, and then you just stack them together and do it like that. Now you can have six effects on it. One of them has all the echo stuff. The other one has all your other things on there. And that hi-hat is being a jackass. I don't like that. Not feeling that, bro. I do like that, that rim snare. Sound saucy. All right. So if you ever get stuck, I'm just going to just hit trap drum, see what happens. Start making a binder of all this stuff. Right, 
but aren't they going to sound layered? Yes. But what can what can you do? So remember, keep breaking it down. Reverse engineer it. You can make one vo you can you can blend the volume knobs for both of them so where you can start combining them into one and do it like that. Or what you can do is make one session of just your synth, record it, like, you know, export it, and then bring it back in as a sample. So if you bring it in as a sample, you know what? I'm going to show you right now. But use use how you're going to school for your engineering. Start applying that to what you're doing here. I think sometimes you, you give up a little too fast. Um, like, really think about some things. So let me show you this. I'm going to call this... Uh, Funk attempt, or just to get, just so I remember what this is. Funk attempt, again, it's an attempt. Okay, we're going to do this. So, again, you got to expand your mind, David. You got to expand your mind a little bit. You give up too easily. I thought about exporting, but I was kind of lazy at exporting and bringing it, bringing it back. Yes, you're being, yes, you, you called it. You called it. Ta -da. <laughs> Your ass was being lazy. <laughs> so this is what happened. You're going to be like, damn it. I only have three effects over here. Auto chord. Let's do this shit right now. Let's do this. <laughs> We'll just show you, David. So you, so you get motivated to do it. Oh, I'm change the octave. Okay, so we got this here. Do do do. There we go. We have that there. We have intro, blah, blah, blah. Export. MP3. Uh, cheeky one, whatever. Put it there. Okay. So we have that. There we go. And I put it over here. Boom. There's our sample. Hey, look, what we got? We have six over here. It took, what, a minute? <laughs> Come on, David. You got this, bro. Don't be so lazy. <laughs> but I wanted to have it that way. <laughs> Patience, brother. Patience. It, it didn't take long. Because then I can also just take this here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, sen I'm sensei. I'm like, hey, man, it's okay, man. It's all good. It happens. It happens. I'm just bring you, bring you back in. Just bring you back in. Bring you back in. This is the way. <laughs> going whoops my bad did not mean to go that crazy on that i meant to go down okay that's there okay so we have that I'm just, I'm going really weird right now because I feel like doing that, man. Uh, da, 
let's see here. Now, nah, probably for next stream on that. You guys are throwing me some wild ones. Okay, so I have that, and then let me go to here. I just feel like just just want to create something real quick. All right, let's go with that. Shit. not hitting that snare because I want that snare. not cool wasn't ready for that i don't know why it loaded like that that's crazy 135 oh, oh it's because my mouse is acting all funky on me uh you can use a wild plugin like yeah use whatever you want dude that's all good again we got we got tools man use them bro Let me go bring that sample back in. Use the tools, man. Use the tools, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shoot. Do some chores. Maybe uh, help somebody out. Get your little side. Get a little side money. Okay. There's like no sound right there. There we go. Then I'm going to use my sidechain plugin. Just messing around. You got it. Yeah, you got to use them, bro. You got to use them. If you got the tools, use them, especially if you paid for them. <laughs> I'm like, whatever I bought, I'm damn go well gonna use it one way or another. I'm gonna use, I use all my, I use all the shit that I buy. You know, and then at the same time, if they got demos of it, I'll use it. And if it works how I want it to, then hell yeah. So, like this Somatics Origin, this one's free. I know uh, Alaska will be using this one. Sidechain plugin if I want to use it. Absolutely, bro. Origins, yes, sir. Then we'll go into arcade and be like, hey, let's fuck around on there real quick. Again, that's the name of the game. It's just having fun. I'm just having fun here. If something ends up not working out, I was like, ah, who gives a shit? Let's go on to the next one. You know? If you give me a challenge and I fell miserably, I'm like, hey, maybe the next challenge I won't fail so so miserable on there. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. So let's go to do, 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 do. brain waves. Because, yeah, that's how my brain is feeling right now. Wavy right now. Okay. So let's see what we can find on here. Is there a plug-in similar to Drum Monkey? Um, refresh me what Drum Monkey is. Is where like it just makes different patterns for you, for drums? Do the ju the jukebox one's really goofy, but yeah, I'll do that. So, 
on 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 Serato Studio, as far as Eddie, I don't know how how much you've been messing with it. Um, it'll pick like different styles here. So say I pick trap stuff. Like say I soloed this. Oh shit! Yeah, no, all good, man. Like if I click, if I click on drums, oh, I gotta at least make one a drum kit. I'll do a decap one. Let's do this one. It's a slap. No, I usually go, well, I guess your time, um, central time, 6.30 to 8.30, uh, was it Pacific time, I guess 8 to 11, I think that would be that. What's your, what's your time zone, David? Let's get this situated here. I don't want nobody to be confused. Puerto Rico time, right? So you're ten. You're ten forty. That means you're oh, you're an hour ahead of me. So I start six thirty, usually end about nine thirty. So your time would be seven thirty to seven thirty to about yeah about a uh, ten forty. Can I turn down the metronome volume? I wish they gave you that option, but no, they. So usually what I end up doing is that it's going da 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 da. I always I will make a hi hat do that. Da, da. I'll just do that. I'll just make this my metronome instead of the other one. So I don't want to hear the metronome. I, just, I create one out of the hats. An easy way to do it is like. Go to hi hat, fill in a quarter. There's your metronome right there. Oops, damn. Okay. So then I can click on trap. Gives me different patterns. But just make sure you adjust your uh, BPM over here. So you can kind of get the particular style that you're going for with that. So let me take that off. Hopefully that helped. Um, let's see here. You said go Motown. What's up, Tommy? My bad, bro. Yeah, now you're here, man. Doing all right, bro. Okay, Tommy. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Um, Again, if you guys can join the Serato Kitchen sample flip stuff, man, it's it's dope. It's dope. You can do the metronome if you want to. P people have been pretty creative just doing doing the uh, the metronome kind of deal. Uh, let's see here. You said use the Motown one. Okay, let's go to Motown. I'm sure it's gonna be strange and mysterious. All right, let's see. Shoo up, shoo up, shoo up, shoo up. Make it so I be my girl. Baby, baby, baby. All right, fuck it. Let's try that. <laughs> Y'all love fucking with me. <laughs> That's good though. I I need I need these like wild combinations on here to just make my brain go just insane. Uh oh yeah. Again, if you do have the Arcade, arcade plugin, make sure you take play, play and key off so that you can utilize it correctly and make sure it's at a um, the regular C note. Baby, 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 baby. All right, so that's there.
Oh, I forgot to change the key. That's what was sounding off. So we're in F minor. So I got to change this to, oh shit, you don't, you don't see that. That's why. E flat, or I got to change this to F minor. Click that, go to minor. I was like, I knew something didn't sound right. F minor, boom, right there, there we go. Unison drum monkey, I gotcha. Yeah, it'll like create different like drum beats for you as far as like different MIDI patterns, which you, you do have that ability here in studio like you click add drums and you can pick the style that you're looking for it they don't they probably don't have it, it probably has a, a vast number of more drums to use um so you can use it I, I tend to just find a sample that i like and then just recreate the drum and start kind of building them from scratch if i want to but again, if if that's what you prefer to do and you get your ideas faster like that, man, do it, bro. I'm never going to trip. I'm never going to trip on this if you can get to an idea quickly, whatever it is you're going to use. But I'll tell you this. If you do get it, fucking use it because <laughs> I know a lot of people will use plugins that will create like drum patterns and then they, they just stop using it and just wasted money on it. So if they give you a demo of it, I don't remember how long they give you one. Test it out and see. Test it out and see if that works for you. Just want to save you guys money, bro. So I'm gonna try to like stack two arcade ones, um, and then I'm gonna def I call it a day. Again, thank you guys for staying on the stream. Um, again, make sure you join the Discord. Last call, <laughs> join it. Um, man, do the sample challenges, man. I'm telling you, you never know. You never know. You could win. You could win or you can, you know, just kind of see how other people flip stuff and start getting inspired more and more. It's like hitting the punching bag all the time. And of course, my thing's going to freeze up on me because it would, it would just want, it would just want to do that. It just wants to do that. Uh, come on, baby. Yeah, uh, I think I have a link on here. That one is uh, 10 bucks a month, actually. Yeah, I put a, a link there if you want to peep that burn. Why are you freezing on me? Dun -dun 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 -dun. You're, a, you're a jerk. And of course it froze. Of course it froze. It got tired. It got tired. Dang it, let me open it back up again. Questions, questions. Let me know. This is loading back up on here. Oh, uh, yes. Let me see if it'll actually load that project. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Because I have been messed with some stuff in a minute. Yes, Burnt won, man. He won. Learned some shit. I was like, "Yo, it's dope." 
again, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it again. Go to their Discord channel. Again, I I put the link in the chat as well. Um, then you go to because there's gonna be quite a few things here. I'm sure that's what threw you off. Call on that. Go past the DJing section. Serato's Kitchen. Go here. It says create invite. Let me see here. You know what? I'm going to invite you guys. There we go. We'll make it super easy. I'm just going to send you the invite right now. There you go. Call right there, baby. Just send it to you. Send it to you just now. So you go to kitchen. Um, they haven't posted the new sample yet, but... Typically, they will put the sample for you to download, um, which they did over here. And then you can use this to get free track lib downloads free. Link to download sample is right here. Then you just submit over here. So whenever you create your beat, what you do is you go to the plus right here, upload file, and then upload your file, and it'll show up over here. It's just that, just that simple. Just that simple. Uh. What up, silence? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I was going just a little bit longer today. Yeah, my computer, this this computer can definitely handle it. <laughs> You're good, bro. <laughs> you are good, man. Okay, I got that there, that there. I send it to your Discord. Kill me, Smalls. It would go... Let's see. Let's see where it goes to since I sent it to you. Invite. I send it to your Discord, homie. The only thing I can't do, Lasko, and I, and I pasted it on here. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. Silence. And I pasted it on, the, on here, too. Who is my... Oh, damn. That's a tough one. Okay. Uh, man, one of my favorites right now is, uh, the count from Toronto, bro. The, you know, and this is the video I'm going to, you know, fuck it. I'm like, let me close the studio out right now. Cause yeah, it's kind of getting to that point. Um, when I heard this beat that he did. Yeah, no, man, that's, that's, that's a fucking great question. Um, So, for me, if I ever needed to get just inspired with some shit, um, the counts, yeah, this, it was this video that I saw, this one right here, I think this, I don't know if you had watched it already burnt or not, this one for right here. For the other sections. So, there's, it's from the Cymatics, um, Zodiac sample pack, which was... This one. In this video, something they're starting to do with their packs is working with live players. Yeah, P I know I, I have to listen to that new P Rock one, man. Like, I fucking love him too. Cooking Souls, dope. Creating full DJ Shadow was one I would listen to all the time. And uh, DJ Crush. Song. So it feels more like you're sampling off a record and can chop different little related pieces from it rather than like working with a one off loop. So this is like a full three minute song with live drums, guitar, sax, and some high end synths like the Moog One and the Dave Smith OB6. And it's royalty free for you to use a funkier one and then a more aggressive one later in the song. So that's the gist of today's yeah. sample. Let's see what everybody did. So that's the sample, and then this is how he freaking flipped it. Uh, he's right here. 
producer from Toronto, Ontario. Let's get right into it. When I was listening through the sample, there were a few things that really stood out to me. This sound. So that was the melody that kind of stood out to me the most to start basing stuff around. Another sound that stood out to me from the sample was the uh, it was a Moog lead. I ended up, I think, throwing some reverb and a bit of like stereo wobble to it. There was also this piano part, which was great, which I had to kind of chop up and manipulate a bit. So I just kind of wrote in this automation, was messing around with it to get it a bit. A bit. So. What he's doing right there, he's doing a modulated um, filter. Again, you, I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, he's modulating the low end and mid frequency. And he said automate, last call's favorite street. Automate street right here. Want, 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 want to create that. A bit more rhythmic. I do this a lot with, with different samples because that's definitely like a Pete Rock thing. Like Pete Rock would notoriously do that on his MP. Um, doing the filter. I think on there you have to go, it's a little bit different automating on an NPC because you have to do it like you have to put the timing in to make that happen on the, um, there's a, like an edit mode. You can just get a little bit more bounce out of it. A few uh, count drums. Sometimes I'll just I'll quantize something and then for, for the little double kicks, I'll just nudge them around a bit. I chopped up that uh, guitar part, the funk guitar. And through that oh yeah, let me just give you the link and, to this uh, one. Good old auto wah. I ended up transposing these two differently. Recorded some chimes here. Laid down the bass line live on the Juno. One of the parts I was really happy with was this uh, Rhodes. So let's go to his flip. I know, dude. It's He killed it. Became a fan ever, ever since then. Yes. I already love it. Ooh. Really nice high texture in the back. What is that? Mm. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yes. The Count and his drums, man, his drum grooves are just pockety as hell. Some Dilla shit right here. It just feels like I'm being hugged. Oh. All that, like, super soft percussion is so nice. This is the way. Baseline is fire. <laughs> it's so damn clean. Watch that watch that episode it's fucking dope like if you if you need inspiration just watch that you can even they even lets you download the sample that's there all right last call let's figure out this shit <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do a quick tech tech support for you so if you need to put anything in this submit you go to the plus sign right here right here upload file find the file and then it should let you upload it from there That's this. This on uh, let me invite you to this one because I thought I invited you here. So if you're going on my Discord call, it's the second from the top, right here. Second from the top, this one. Now you're in it. Go to the bottom, right here. Upload right there. Right there. You're going to learn your computer inside and out, bro. 
on on everything. Let me know you got it. And that should be the end for me here. Let me just put something in the background. Do 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 you got it call you can do this man you can do this bro you can do this you can do this man you can do this i believe in you this is the way this is the way sir there you go holy shit Ta -da! what the hell is even that you did it bro you did it I'm drinking two. I'm drinking two champagne bottles. There you go. Good. I will check it out on the ride home, sir. So again, I want to thank all of you guys on the chat. I know I try not to distract myself, but I, I get the distractions. But it's all good. Um, <laughs> you can't let me call. No problem, burnt. No problem. Yeah, no, I really gotta get. Get on out of here right now. Um, again, join the Serato stream. Um, I think the timing on that is three to six or three to five, I believe. Um, yeah, again, take whatever tools I got. Um, if you need a replay of the Timberland one, let me know. Um, hopefully seeing some of that, seeing kind of what inspires me to just watching other people. Um that's what it's all about dude just try to just learn from whoever you can again don't use just me as your source i mean there's sources of plenty but it doesn't help unless you get on the program and start doing shit that's when it really matters that's when you you know really get your swings in so to speak on baseball talk terms um again every wednesday 6 30 my time 4 30 california time i think new zealand is 12 o'clock time um Puerto Rico time 7 30. Um yeah. Talk music. I'm gonna listen to some funk stuff and let's see if I can learn the tools and ingredients and start messing with that, you know. Um so I can make a mixtape with last call about it. <laughs> um and again, um thank you for all the uh the new um uh, people that join. It's fucking awesome, you know, um seeing this community get built more and more um it's fantastic i couldn't ask for anything better um again you guys keep progressing um it's good i i love it you know again take take my criticism on anything don't take it as like the bible again it's just personal personal uh taste in my own mind i could be completely wrong on something but um don't let it stop you on making whatever the fuck you want to make I mean, that's what's the beauty of this whole thing. Make whatever the hell you want to do. As long as you feel good, that's what matters with that. So I leave you with that. Keep being creative. Keep working hard. I will see you guys next time. Peace, everybody. <laughs> yes, Bert. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving, we're leaving with that. This is the way. Peace, guys.